What is net neutrality? Net neutrality is about choice. Who chooses the content you see and use on the internet? Right now, you do. You connect to the internet, open your browser, and navigate to the website of your choice. Net neutrality makes this possible because it prevents your internet provider from blocking access to those websites. What if one day you decided to look up something on Google but found their website to be running so painfully slow that you could not use it? Or worse yet, you tried to navigate to google.com but you could not connect to it. So instead, after much frustration, you decided to log on to the website of a different search engine to find what you wanted. Without net neutrality, the above scenario could become all too common. Your network provider, the company that operates your physical connections to the internet, might decide to degrade your access to a website like Google or block access entirely. Why would your provider do such a thing? Perhaps they signed an exclusive agreement with another search engine company. It would then be in the provider's best interest to divert you to that other company's service. Or perhaps the provider developed its own search engine and wants your business, so it uses its power to control your internet connection to encourage you to use their search engine instead of Google's by degrading or blocking access to Google. Here's another scenario. Say you want to use Vonage for your phone service. One day, out of the blue, perhaps the Vonage service seems weak or filled with static, or perhaps it doesn't work at all. A few months later, your network provider begins offering its own internet phone service. Was Vonage really that bad, or did your network provider have something to do with it? Voice is just one application that runs over the internet. ISPs are getting into the video content provider business, so they'll soon be competing with other video providers on the net too. If your ISP has a financial interest in one provider's content, your ISP has the incentive to degrade your access to any other provider's content. Scenarios like these are not only possible, they've already happened. They will continue to happen as long as basic net neutrality principles are not enforceable. Unfortunately, the folks in Congress don't think net neutrality is important enough to put into law. If you care about surfing wherever you want to on the Internet, it's a good time to tell your member of Congress to enforce net neutrality.